four and six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou forgot the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. Verse 18, verse 8. They eat up the sin of my people. All right, and that's talking about your, the false prophets. These false prophets, you know, they cause our, they cause our people to sin even more mm. through false doctrine. You eat up the sin of the Lord's people like food. You eat off of that shit. You know, like IUIC. Really quick, there's a show on Netflix called Greenleaf. And the whole show is just about uh, a pastor and his church. Yeah, yeah, pastor, yep. <laughs> it's a very drama show because it's a whole bunch of drama in the church. It's one one dude gay and uh, right. other dude got divorced from his wife right. and all that. Just a whole bunch of abomination. And the, the preacher, he's just, uh, he, he, he using the, the church money to gamble. He, he lost all the money, so he was like, I'm going to get dig real deep so you can get a blessing. The That's easiest, the easiest, uh, <laughs> the easiest um, script, the easiest script to write um, on a on a drama or a soap opera is, is to use the church. Right, right. And, and uh, right. That's a good point. So, you know, the pastors, man, the pastors as well. They eat up the sin of our people. They get rich and wealthy of of our people that sin. They still accept them instead of rejecting them. And say, hey, you being wicked. You know. Got to tell one of Halloween is pagan. Oh, oh, oh IUIC, they get rich. Oh, come on, come on. IUIC, they get rich. They be out there with Power Ranger ass. And th not only that, um, Yahweh Shah was speaking against the um, Pharisees and scribes that were doing that. Because they were money changers that were inside the, the synagogue doing the same thing. All right, so they, they, they were looked at as the righteous men, all right, because they were making money off the sins of the other people, man. Right. Saying they can only be forgiven for sins if they come through them. Right. Now, what if you ain't making money? You still do the same thing off of pride. Son. Self, self exaltation. Come yeah. on. You know? Uh, I'm going to keep going with this real quick. Man, at that point. Oh, uh, yeah, I had to what I was going to say was, you know what I'm saying, uh, by, by, by all these other camps and these false prophets doing these things, you know what I'm saying, that also detour the people away from the truth. Because right, right. when the true men of the Lord get out, all right, through the highways and the hedges of the four corners, man, you know what I'm saying, that detour them away, that may do come against us. That's when it goes into Galatians chapter 4. All right, therefore, I'm not coming to your enemy because I tell you the truth. Right. All right. Uh, I had a quick precept to go with it. Right. Um, this is Matthew chapter... Matthew chapter 23, verse, I'm going to start at 29. It says, all right, Matthew 23 and 29. It says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous, and say, If we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Come, man. So you got these other false prophets saying that, oh, we wouldn't even be out there with them. Why? Because they're out here teaching lies, man. All right. So the Lord Yahweh Shemel was shot. Go hold them to their word, man. They are those same people that said they wouldn't stand with us back then, man. All right. Just like the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. The spirit of the scoffers is subject to the scoffers, man. All right. Same assholes back then, the same assholes today. Mm -hmm. God, All right. Verse 31. It says, Wherefore ye be witness unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. God, man. So they basically was uh, 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 witnesses to themselves, man. All right. Uh, they backed themselves up. All right. Because they are those same people that was back then doing the same stuff. <laughs> you got the mic, brother. All right. This is Hosea 4 and 8. They eat up the sin of my people. And they set their heart in their iniquity, man. And that's what these uh these people, these false prophets have done. That's what we call them, just false prophets, man. To sum it up. You know? They they you eat you eat off the sin of the children of Israel, off their blindness. You know, you wanna you wanna get a name for yourself. You try to get the knowledge from one person and run and tell somebody else, just so you can get a name for yourself. You know? What's a lie, guy? Police is cool. I don't know if this has anything to do with us, but that's the case. Alright, so. You eat the sin of 
the Lord's people like food, man. And you get fed off of food. And it says, And there shall be like people, like priests, and I will punish them for their ways and reward them for their doing. For they shall eat and not have enough. They shall commit whoredom and shall not increase because they have left off to take heed to your whole shot. Whoredom, whoredom and wine and new wine take away the heart. So what does that mean? Adultery, which is whoredom, you know, and wine, which is what? A, a false doctrine. And then new wine, which is what? People say that new doctrine, what it means is drunkenness. Alright? So our people becoming drunken off of these new philosophies or false philosophies or wine causes them to be drunken. You know? Nah. And, um, and it destroys the heart. And that's why the, the scripture said Hosea 4 and 6. Our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you got them false leaders out there, man. Oh, they become a drunken. Go ahead, bro. Oh, go ahead. This is Ezekiel chapter 13. I'm going to start at verse 1. Right. It says, And the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, came unto me, son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy and say, Thou unto them that prophesy out their own hearts, hear ye the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Thus says the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Woe unto the foolish prophets that follow their own own spirit and have not seen nothing. <laughs> alright, and that's a lot of false, that's a, all these uh, false uh, prophets that's out here, alright, they're going off their own, their own heart, their own mind, and also prophesying lies, man. Alright, Rob, robbing the people, robbing the people, alright, and, and not telling them the truth, man. Alright, and that's why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh got to get you Get you people out of the way, man. All right. Especially like um, Israelites tried to refine is a big one that's like that. So they say they say they got they say they have the truth, oh. and they say the Lord saith. They still call on the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh They say the Lord saith, and he say he ain't, he ain't even said nothing to them. He hasn't sent them, right. but it caused a lot of people to err though. Right. Uh, this is saying Matthew chapter seven verse fifteen. This is, this is Matthew chapter 7 verse 15 it says beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ra 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 ravaging wolves God. and with that being said you know what I'm saying that's how a lot of these camps and these, uh, these prophets these false prophets nowadays they come to you and with, with wolves with sweet words with, with, uh, they ain't in a righteous state, right. but, but in their in in heart or in their mind, they they really uh, full of the full of the seed. Right, and you can't just because you don't like a motherfucker, man. You can't say that that's that that that's what this is talking about. That person, you have to examine these persons. You know, you got to examine before you rebuke. Uh. All right, you got to at least meet a person. You got to at least hear a person out, hear the whole cause before you rebuke. Alright, so if you feel in your heart that that scripture is talking about a specific person that you just don't like, then that scripture is talking about junk black ass. God. Uh, wait, bro. Uh, that's how I say it's rock. You say examine the whole matter before you even thou speak, man. Mm -hmm. Rep for you. Right, man. So it got to be put in the proper uh, context, man. Because you got some people out there that still vote, right. and they'll take that scripture and try to pin it on somebody else, but it really is talking about their God. Because the scripture says keep the whole road, so you can't just try to twist it, huh, man? You can't twist it, man. This is, uh, this is Sirach 36, verse 15. It says, Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning, and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. Come on, man. So the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to raise up prophets, man. All right, that he ordained from the beginning. All right, in his name. So the prophets that he's going to raise up are going to be prophesying in his name, which is the Father's name is Yahweh and the Son's name is Yahweh Shah. All right. So therefore, he's going to raise up prophets according to his knowledge and wisdom and understanding, man. All right, somebody, you can bring out that Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18, right? Come on. All, All right, because if he raise up prophets in his name, man, they're going to go according to these scripts. All right. Just like the Lord say his words and not return back void. You got other counts out here that's not even going according to the scriptures, man. Con. They're teaching that famine and uh, 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 destruction is not even going to come. Jacob's trouble, we're not even going to go through tribulation. You got some counts out here teaching that. Some counts teach the flea doctor, so forth and so forth. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18. 
I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and will put my word in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Huh, that was talking about Yahweh Shai, but throughout the rest of the generation, that same spirit was put throughout all the men around the four corners of the earth, all right, to spread the truth, all right, and it is up the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai himself. All right, keep going. Verse 19, and it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. Come on, man. So the ones, all right, for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to confuse the faith, the ones that don't, the ones that don't ha hearken into the purpose of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, all right, guess what? They're going to be destroyed. All right, all right, keep going. Verse 20, but the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods. Con. All right. So if you out here listening to the prophets, man, and you decide, oh, man, I don't know if what's going to be true, what's true or not. All right. The things that you see coming to pass are the things that's going to be true. The ones that you see that are not coming to not, or you know that's the false prophet, man. And you know you have nothing to fear of him. All right. Keep I mean, going. I mean, but because, uh, because the Lord have not commanded us I, I, uh, to call on other gods, man. Right, oh. You still got these Jews, these uh, Seraphic Christ Christians, worshippers. Right, you got these, these 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 people still out here uh, worshiping Allah. All these all this false nonsense, man. Oh. All right, the Lord have not. That's not His name, man. It's the name of the Lord is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and that's the only name that you can be saved by, man. You you ye men of Israel, man. All right, because the Lord don't care about these other nations, man. So stop trying to give your glory unto others. Go on. Yes. No. Well, not only, not only the name is is, is, is uh, how you know that these these camps ain't, 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 ain't in the spirit. Not only the name, how you know these camps ain't in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, because they don't call on that name. They also they also been confounded and been brought on accounts of many things, especially as uh, our apostles, you know, who rule well, got ridiculed in the old school uh, of, of Cornelius being an Israelite. Okay, and they, and they, and their leader, their congregation is now coming. Who was, a, who, who was a part of that, you know, that, that, uh, that, that, uh, co condemnation at that time, uh, uh, is, 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 is uh, co confessing that, okay, was showing that he has stumbled on his words in the past, and, and, and now he's coming to be a, a liar, okay, uh, yeah, a hypocrite. Fucking okay, hypocrite. Huh. Come on. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about Nate. <laughs> Nate. 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 And let not the parables of understanding escape thee. If thou seest a man of understanding, get thee betimes unto him, and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. Let thy mind, let's lock it, let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord, and meditate continually in his com commandments. He shall establish thine heart, and give thee wisdom at thine own desire. And as he was saying before, Most High is going to give you the spirit to ask for wisdom, to ask for understanding, to ask for knowledge and truth. And he's also uh, going to uh, give you devout men of his own spirit to allow you to, uh, to ask them and to be taught even more. So when, so when, so when you, uh, when you, when you, when you niggas dealing in pride, y'all, that's not coming from y'all about some y'all shot. Uh, <laughs> uh, Uh, this is Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 22. It says, When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord Jehovah, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is a thing which the Lord Jehovah hath not spoken. Con. So if the thing come to not, and, and, and those things that the prophet have not, the things that the prophet have spoken have not come to pass, you ain't got nothing to worry about, man. That prophet is a, that man is a liar. He's not even a prophet. That shouldn't even come out your mouth towards him, man. All right, because prophets go go hand in hand with prophecy. Things happen beforehand, man. Knowing the things that happen before they happen. All right, getting out here, letting the people know. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, letting them know that the Father's name is Yahweh, that the Son's name is Yahweh Shai. And we return, and if you're not calling on him, you will be destroyed, man. Right. Why? Because you're not commanded out here to call on these other gods. All right, this is um, Exodus chapter 23, verse 13. And in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect, and make no mention of the names of other gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. Huh, it says make no mention of the other names of other gods. 
all right? You know what I'm saying? So you don't mention these other names, all right? So that, with that being said, man, the Lord name is Yahweh, and the Son name is Yahweh's Son, all right? So you, therefore you shouldn't be saying Jehovah, Yahweh, Yeshua, none of that, man. Why? Because that's not the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's Son. That doesn't go back to the last one for dust, which means Holy Son, man. God, and that's very important, man. All right? For many years, from generations generations passed down, we have been lied to, man. All right? The Father's true name is Yahweh. Yah me, he, Yahweh me, as this. All right? Baha Shem me in the name. All right? Yahweh Shai is who the world even called Jesus Christ, man. All right? And this upcoming destruction during the midst of uh, the hour of temptation when this RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, go back into Revelation, that real soon that they're going to try to make as the world currency, the only way out is to call on the Heavenly Father and the Son's true name, man. All right? That's the only right. way out, man. Because the Lord has to be dealing with you in order for you to be saved, man. Go but on. if you ain't seeking Him now, all right, and you reject it and you despise it, it's a judgment coming by, coming, uh, coming to you, man. That's why every time the Lord said when He was out on the highways and byways, if any man have an ear, let him hear, man. And all of us have ears, man. And you cannot say that you did not hear the truth, man. Oh. Alright, that's why the devil, so-called Esau, the so-called white man, the, the devil that the Bible speaks of, they gotta be taken out of the way, man. Because they are the deceivers of the earth, man. Right? Oh. And they think it's funny. Right? But the Lord is gonna get them off the earth, man. Right. If you can't, if you can't hear, you got eyes. Come. You got eyes, you can't see, and you can't hear, you just fucked up. <laughs> yeah, pray the Lord have mercy. Mm -hmm. uh, Blind, they got that shit you can touch. Mm -hmm. Well, I was gonna say you can feel, man. You feel. Yeah, ain't no excuse, man. The Lord made it, made it perfect. Right? Nobody got no excuse. Oh, hey. Even if you ain't got no memory, the Lord gave you a phone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what is that Adam Sandler movie where he had to play a video for his girl every morning? Oh, yeah. oh, hey, uh, oh. Uh, everybody can say that. That's so because she had a, she, she couldn't remember anything past the first. Huh? Hey, crazy night. Uh, seven crazy, some shit like that, something like that. Yeah, three something came up. Alright, this is Colossians chapter 1, verse 26. It says, Even the mystery which have been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints, to whom Yahweh would make known what is the riches of the glory of the mystery among the Gentiles, which is Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, in you, the hope of glory. Whom we preach, one to every man. That's the point. Just like the brother said, man, who we preach, one to every man. So it's no excuses when that day comes, when the Lord makes his return. Oh, I didn't hear the truth, man. I didn't get a chance to, you know what I'm saying? You had every chance to, to turn back to the Lord, y'all, by your male child. Why? Because we're in the grace period, for one. So therefore, it's your time to turn back. <laughs> All right? It says, it says, I'm going to start with 28 again. It says, whom we preach, one to every man, and teaching every man in all wisdom. That we may present every man perfect in a must yuck, Yahweh Shah. So come, it's on you. If you don't take that uh, presentation of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, it's on you, man, whether you take that life or death. All right, so with that being said, that's it. That's it. Uh -huh. So pretty much you're hurting yourself. All right, you're hurting yourself, man. Yeah, this is just backing up the brother, uh, our car. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 6. It says, how be it, we speak the wisdom. So like it, how be it, we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, among them that are upright, yet not the wisdom of this world. We don't speak the wisdom according to this carnal world, this carnal realm, <laughs> nor of the princes of this world that come to not. We don't speak what everybody else thinks we should speak according to this world. Right. This world, these princes, the rulers that's going to come to not, come to nothing. We speak the wisdom of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Right, really quick. Uh, uh, famous scientist, uh, I think it's physicist, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Somebody asked him, what is the spirit? He said, spirit is molecules and when you die, it just, it just leaves. That's it. Boom. That's all your soul is. It's energy, calories and something like that. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then that's it. I was like, so he doesn't have a, 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 a spiritual understanding of he, he he only believes in this in this carnal realm. Yeah, he got a Greek he got a Greek understanding. Con, con. That's where that comes from. Greek. He think just because he know about atoms and molecules, that's cool and everything. Cause you know, yeah, yeah. that's cool. But he was scribes. What that scribes and the Pharisees? Con. Uh, the scribes, the scribes believe they didn't believe in reincarnation. So they didn't believe that the body had a spirit. Why? Because they took on Greek customs during the time of Antiochus. <coughs> that's what it, that's what it, uh, the scribes and Pharisees came from. But um, in 168, 
what the, uh, the tabernacle was rededicated, you had some people that didn't like that. They wanted to keep their own versions of it. You had that one, that one you had the scribes and Pharisees who hated. So some the, the scribes, the Sadducees, sorry about that, the Sadducees, the Sadducees, they believed in the Greco form of it. The, the Greeks didn't believe that they that you have reincarnation or spirit. And the spirit goes back to the Father. And that's just it. I'll leave it. I, you know, I, I won't speak too much. Uh, this is verse uh, 7. It says, But we speak the wisdom of Yahweh in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which Yahweh ordained before right. the world unto our glory. Right, so this wisdom is going to be hidden wisdom, man. And only certain people are going to know about it. And whom, whom whoever Yahweh by Shimei Hoshai decides to give it to. Alright, I got Oh, one more. Uh, this, I'm going to jump down to verse 10. It says, uh, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, so like, But Yahweh hath revealed them unto us by His Spirit. Right, man. For the Spirit searches all things. All, all things. So is there going to be some things we don't know? Yeah, I might not know no, I might not know no fucking algebra or calculus. But everything pertains to the will of the Father. He's going to make sure we know it. Uh -huh. You know, that's why he said, you have an unction and you know all things. An unction from the Holy One. You know? So for, for so to say that we won't know about bodily things, like certain parts of the body, you won't, they say you won't know about birth, you won't know about atoms, particles, and all that shit. Yeah, we're going to know about those things, man. Go ahead, brother. If you feel cut, hey. No fucking cry. I don't give a fuck. Ahead, yeah, this is verse 16. He says, for who hath known the mind of the Lord? That he may instruct him, but we have the mind of a Mashiach. Who has known the mind? So you mean to tell me it's it's a question? Who knows the mind and the thought process of your house, Mashiach? Well, to say that we're not gonna know is to say that he didn't know. Right. To right. say that Solomon didn't know. Real. Right. So like you know, Solomon 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking pressing that button. I don't give a fuck, man. Go yeah. Ahead. So you know who's gonna instruct the most high? So we gonna give the most high instruction on on, on what what's going on. When it specifically states throughout the word that nothing is hidden before him, he sees everything and nothing catches him off guard. Right. So also with that being said, you think his servant won't know? Right. All right. But he saw know, but we won't know. Yeah. Gone, man. <laughs> so I mean, you, you call him the Lord a liar and saying that his servant won't know the things that Yahweh Shai have given unto us. Man. Right, man. We have the mind of a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. He has the mind of Yahweh. The Heavenly Father. Right. Peace so, how we not gonna know this? <laughs> that goes in, that goes into the spiritual power too. Being yeah. able to, uh, to manipulate the elements. Right? Manipulate the elements, man. I don't oh. know what this is, but I'm gonna manipulate it. Like, yeah. what that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Damn, two precepts. Can't call it a particle. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with this. <laughs> uh, all right, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter nine. I'm gonna start at. <laughs> I'm going to start at 10. It says, Oh, send her out of the holy heavens and from the throne of thy glory, that, be, that being present she may labor with me, that I may know what is pleasing to thee. Come on, and what is that her praying to? He's praying to, uh, this is uh, 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 Solomon praying to the Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, to send that wisdom from heaven, man. All right, so he can do the things that are pleasing to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, it says, For she knoweth and understandeth all things. And she shall lead me soberly in my doings, and preserve me in her power. Come on, man. So, attaining to this wisdom, all right, dwelling with this wisdom of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, is going to allow you to do the things that are pleasing to the Lord, man. All right, and it's going to preserve you from that destruction that's coming. All right, because like Wisdom of Solomon uh, 10 and 9, it says, Wisdom delivers those from pain that attain unto her. All right. It says, verse 12, it says, So shall my works be acceptable, and then shall I judge thy people righteous, and be worthy to sit in my father's seat. For what man is he that knows the counsel of the Lord, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? Or who can think what the will of the Lord is? Come on, man. So who can know these things, man? Unless that spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, is dwelling with you. So if you don't have that spirit, all right, you can't know these things, man. So right. well, that means... So that means the things that the disciples knew, we're going to know them. The things that that uh, the people knew in the Old Testament, we're going to know that. And the things that Solomon knew, we're going to know that. 